Hey everyone, this is Ashwin here. In this video, we are going to see how to create an AI agent which can convert natural language to SQL. So this is uh, used for uh, question answering purpose. So if you have a SQL database and you want to ask questions in a natural language instead of uh, typing a SQL query by yourself, I think this is a good alternative for you. And uh, we are going to use Langchain for this uh, tutorial because uh, we can create easily create uh, agents using Langchain and uh, we can just attach this uh, SQL tool uh, which the agent can use to generate these uh, SQL queries. And uh, it will also answer based on the retrieved uh, uh, information from the SQL database. So for this example, I'm going to use uh, Northwind uh, database. And uh, if you want that database, you can get it from this uh, GitHub URL. So I'll just uh, have this here and you can just uh, download it and paste it, um, have it in the folder and uh, directly use it. So apart from that, we have to install a few modules. So pip install langchain langchain community langgraph langchain core I think uh, that would be enough for this um, tutorial. Then we will import the necessary modules. Import modules. So from Langchain community dot utilities import SQL database. So if you are using different database, uh, you can also uh, change it and uh, load the DB accordingly. So th this is for like a, a structured uh, DB. Uh, we are not uh, covering graph DB here. Uh, it will be a separate video, which I will cover later. So here SQL database dot from URI of SQLite and uh, Pass the DB data slash northwind dot DB and print DB dot dialogue. So we will know uh, which uh, it is SQLite. So that's why I'm just uh, confirming the dialogue here. Let's run this. Okay. So it loaded the DB and this is uh, SQLite. And uh, okay, so we will have this in the next step where let's uh, import all the modules in a single shot from langchain dot chat models, chat models, import init chat model, and then from langchain import hub. This is for uh, getting the SQL. Uh, prompt for uh, question answering then from langchain core mm, I think we can skip this one langgraph dot prebuilt import create react agent so I think this would be sufficient and then we will get the db and uh, print db dot get usable table names. So this will just display the table names. Now you can see this is a SQLite DB and uh, it has this many tables inside this database. So uh, it can handle like multiple tables and based on the query, uh, it will retrieve the information from these tables uh, um, one by one. So let's uh, check that in detail. After this, let's uh, do some uh, execute some SQL query, execute sample query. So print db dot run. So select star from customers. So this is the customer tables and I will limit by three run this. So this is the 
uh, customer uh, DB is just uh, showing the first uh, the three rows. So this is first row and uh, this is second row and this is third row. And uh, we can also get the columns from the database. So that's not an issue. So after this, we will initialize LLM. I'm going to use uh, OpenAI GPT-40 mini LLM equals init chat model of GPT-40 mini model provider will be OpenAI. Okay. And I think I have missed one more thing. So we ha have to import a toolkit. So from langchain community dot agent toolkits import SQL database toolkit. Okay, we have initialized LLM. Initialize the toolkit. Okay, toolkit equals SQL database toolkit of db equals db which we loaded earlier and llm equals llm then tools equals toolkit dot get tools you can print the tools as well so print tools so we can see how many tools that is present here you can see there are a lot of tools uh, there like uh, this query database tool and uh, info sql database tool what else is there list sql database query sql checker tool i think that's pretty much it other than that uh, they have the model details here so these are the full tools that is available for the a agent Okay, now that is done. Let's move to the next step. I'll just print it in the next cell. Okay, next we have to create the prompt template. Prompt template for NL2 SQL. So I'm going to use uh, Langchain uh, Hub to pull the prompt. So prompt template equals hub dot pull. They have so many prompts uh, that is uh, very optimized. So that's why I'm just uh, using it directly instead of me typing it uh, uh, every word. So SQL a agent system prompt. System prompt. We can also see the prompt. If you need to do any modifications, you can uh, do it. So prompt template messages of zero and pretty print. Okay. It's just uh, giving some warning. Okay. It's still giving the warning. Okay. You can uh, leave that it. So dialog will be the SQLite uh, dialog which we will uh, pass it as a query so this thing we have to pass and uh, always limit to your query at most top k result so top k also we have to pass it uh, to the prompt template so these two are important other than that you can see uh, it's uh, saying uh, you should not make these comments only the select operation is needed because uh, we are just retrieving the information and uh, you can see to start you should always look at the tables in the database to see what you can query do not skip the step so it will always like uh, look up the tables first before forming the query and uh, it does have the instruction and uh, you can see the full instruction here so we are going to use this as it is and if you want to have like additional instruction you can just uh, copy this and uh, uh, use uh, our chat prompt template and uh, change it however you want okay now that is done system message equals 
prompt template dot format as i said i have to pass the dialect dialect will be sqlite and top k will be 5 again you can change the top k to 3 or 10 uh, however uh, you like based on your needs so this is done then create the sql agent sql ai agent okay i'll just call it as sql agent for now sql agent equals create react agent llm and the tools we got before then prompt prompt will be system message okay so this this will uh, create the sql agent then sample execution you will pass the query let's have a variable identify the 10 most expensive products I, i'll just need name and unit price I'm not typing it exactly as it is in the table. Uh, we can also see that in the execution. So as I said, uh, we can stream the results or stream the events. So for event in SQL agent dot stream of, you need to pass the messages, messages colon in a tuple user or you can also pass it as a human and then query so this will be messages and stream mode will be values okay now event of messages of minus one dot pretty print okay let's run this so this is our query it is calling the tool first it is uh, displaying the list of tables that is available then okay let okay it's completed i'll just expand this okay it called the list of uh, tables so this is the tool message and this is the tool calls so after calling the list of tables uh, it is calling the schema of uh, each table so first is first is uh, investigating the products table which is here so this is the product table as you can see it has the uh, whole schema with the data type along with that uh, it also displays the top three um, rows of the table just to see what are the values that is present in the row so it can understand uh, how to create the sql query and uh, now here sql db query checker is just checking the query so select product name and unit price from product order by unit price descending limit 10. so i just uh, specified as top 10 so that's why it's just uh, limiting at up to 10 and uh, it is checking it and uh, it got this uh, result then it executes the query so SQL DB query. So this executes the query and this is the result from the tool. After you, they, it got the result, it just uh, modifies it uh, to make it more natural. So you can see, right, this is much better than this uh, list of uh, products. So this is how the SQL uh, RAG agent works. Let's also do one more query here. okay get the top five employees and the number of orders they have processed so previously uh, i think from a single table it just uh, got the information so that is like a straightforward way of querying so here i'm just trying to query employees table and orders table so let me just check whether employees table is there order details and order table is there so let's 
do this okay again it's just doing the same thing printing the tables and uh, getting the schema for uh, orders schema for orders and uh, it does have all the three uh, rows then it creates the uh, query see it can do the join operation here and uh, after checking it after checking it it executes the query and this is what uh, the sql query returned and uh, based on this information it just uh, returned the top five employees and the number of orders again so this is much better than the normal uh, message so i think that's pretty much it guys you can see how the agent works right so it just uh, uses a, a number of tools that is available uh, uh, to to the agent and it just calls the corresponding tools um, in a correct manner and uh, gets the final output and uh, this is just for sql and uh, if you consider search api calls and uh, any uh, kind of functions you can just add it as a tool and uh, pass it to the agent if the agent is uh, intelligent enough it can process all this information and uh, give you the final result uh, in a much accurate fashion so i think that's pretty much it guys if you have any queries regarding this video uh, please leave a comment below i will happy to assist you other than that if you like this video hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe the channel for more videos like this and i'll see you guys in the next video